Hello, I'm Dr. Reinhard de Ridder and welcome to the third episode of Interesting and Relevant Diseases in Animals. In today's episode we're going to look at how much damage a small piece of wire can cause in a bovine. It is called traumatic reticulopericarditis and also hardware disease. So what basically happens is cattle can ingest something like a piece of wire and then it ends up in the reticulum. When you can look at the anatomy of the bovine, you will see that the reticulum is very close to the heart. So an object like a piece of wire can penetrate through the reticulum, through the diaphragm and through the pericardium. It can even penetrate into the heart. And that is how traumatic reticulopericarditis is caused. In the next video, we're going to look at the signs and symptoms that the cow showed that had traumatic reticulopericarditis. So in this video, I want you to focus on the swelling underneath the animal's chin. It is also called bottle jaw or anasarca. I also want you to focus on the brisket edema and in the video you can hear a sound that I think is the animal that is grinding her teeth. The grinding of the teeth can show that the animal is in pain. I also want you to focus on how prominent the jugular veins are. Is your stony jugular by Steve? The column awesome tell. As well as it also. As well. 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 I also want to mention this animal had a temperature of 39.1 and there was also blood in the feces. If the blood in the feces was part of this condition or just a coincidence, that I don't know, but I mention it in this episode. In this next video, I want you to focus on how the piece of wire penetrated through the reticulum, through the diaphragm and through the pericardium. In this next video, we're going to look at how the piece of wire also penetrated into the heart. On the outside of the heart, you can see the small hole where it penetrated into the heart. And when you look at the inside of the heart, you will see that white spot where it penetrated into the heart. You can go read up on all the methods that you can use to diagnose traumatic reticulopericarditis. One method that you can use to diagnose traumatic reticulopericarditis is to do a laparotomy. With the laparotomy, you will feel if you can feel any attachments between the reticulum and the diaphragm. If you can feel any attachments, that would be abnormal. Ok, let's see what happens when you put a metal detector against someone's back that has metal in his back. I would also like to mention, I did test the wire that came out of this animal, but the metal detector could not detect the wire. It is something I still want to try out in future. If you try it out and it works, please let me know. If this method works to detect traumatic reticulopericarditis, then it will reduce the stress on the animal. This is the end of our episode. See you at the next episode of interesting and relevant diseases that animals get.